We're going to cut to Monday. You'll notice because everything will be different. Red. <laughs> It'll be different. We'll okay. be in different outfits. Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. I'm reading Shallow River. So Shallow, so shallow <laughs> River. <laughs> yes, there's so much. There is so much about this book. Literally in the beginning, I was like listening to it and I was like, oh my God. And I was like, I relate way too much to this yeah, book I already. Knew, I knew that was going to happen. Um, and I was like, I don't know if Megan's going to be able to handle this one so much. But I still think that she should listen to it because the uh, what happens, <laughs> I think, will give her an immense amount of satisfaction. It does. that's what happened to me. It is. It is giving me an immense amount of satisfaction. And... Literally, I was listening to it, and I was like, this is a lot. Like, I, like I, there was a point where I was like, I don't know if I should keep listening to this. But then I was like, mm, now I'm hooked. Now I have to, though. Like, now I have to finish it. Well, you also were texting me, and you were just like, this is, I don't know if I can. And I was like, trust me. Trust me. <laughs> just trust me. It gets better. You all just trust me. Literally, she was, when she was at Mako's house. Yeah. Okay. And then she... Picked up the phone. First of all, she picked up the phone and I went, bitch, no. I did too. (laughs) Stupid bitch, no. Don't pick up the phone. This This is the worst mistake you can make. This was one of those books. Block him. That had me, I was like Sheldon in the Big Bang Theory when he was like, why? But why? (laughs) Yeah. Oh, that's why. (laughs) That that was me and I, I was pacing in the bedroom like, yelling and scream and i uh-huh. would have full-fledged conversations with logan where it's like i need you to just sit here and let me rant about this book there was a part where oh god i wish i could remember exactly what had happened where he he did something and then she did something i think it's when she smacked him when she smacked him when she smacked him back, mm-hmm. and she was, like, so worried about what he was going to do, and I was like, he's not going to react the way you think he's going to react. He's going to turn it around. I know exactly what he's about to do, and it's exactly what it did. And I was like, I know, yep. because I've been there. Yep. I was like, he's about to turn it around yep. and play the, you know, the, I love you. Yeah. I would never do this to you. I'm so sorry. I'm a horrible boyfriend thing. So yep. then you're like, no, no. you're not. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Because I literally did that. <laughs> yep. But, guess what? <clears throat> he's a piece of trash. He's a piece of shit. He's garbage. Nothing's and gonna change. No, he's not. And the crazy thing to me, too, is that, like, Mako knows. Yes. And has tried and uh-huh. tried and tried to get him put away. And I was almost like, why aren't never... you stalking her more? <laughs> yeah. Like, I was like, why yeah. are you... During that whole, like, uh, little scuttle uh-huh. um as she was trying to escape uh-huh. i was purely i was like allison is waiting for her uh-huh. and if allison doesn't hear from her she's gonna call mako right and then mako's gonna show up uh-huh. and like everything's gonna take be care fine. of business everything's gonna be fine no allison didn't do shit allison nope. was just like oh well she didn't show up so i guess i'll I just wait to see if she doesn't need me yeah uh yeah. i'll wait to see what happens yeah I was freaking out. I was I was yelling because she didn't do anything. It's like, why uh-huh. wouldn't you check? You know the situation she's in. Yeah. Because you went through it. You know how hard it was for you to get out. She has finally made a plan. She called you to help her uh-huh. and to come get her. You're Which means literally something. waiting for her. Yes. And you don't hear from her when she's supposed to meet you at your car. Yeah, you'll call Mako. For, like, other things about her. But then, like, why didn't you... I just don't understand. I'm like, why didn't you call him? After you were there for at least, like, 20, 30... Like, I would have been like, something is wrong. Something is very wrong. And, like, would have called the the brother. Yeah. Like, something's going on. She called me. I feel like the fact that if she would have said to him, she called me... He would have been there. That would have been an instant, like, she would... She would never call you. Yeah, something, something's up. Cause she didn't want to call him. No. And then, awkward. and then, literally, her thought process to go. Um, I'm not gonna make it to the door, 
So I'm just going to make it to a weapon and I'm going to kill him. <laughs> yeah. Well, what, like, what other choice did she have? Yeah. It was either I do that or he kills me. <clears throat> well, they talk about how, like, insanely long their driveway is. Yeah. So I'm sure, like, once she gets outside, she's got a haul. Well, to she to tried to climb out the window. Yeah. And he pulled her back in through the fucking window. Yes. That's absolutely terrifying. And I don't blame her to go, well, now I don't. Shit. Like, I don't have anything else to do. Uh-huh. Other than. Yeah. he Like, he's not going to let me to that door. Any of them. Even the back. Like, he's not. He's going to come get me. So, my best bet is to just defend myself. Yeah. Literally, she, what, she, she eventually, she, she ties him up. Yeah. She, like, in, in the beats attic. his ass. Yeah. And then carries his body all the way up. To the attic. A girl's got some. I feel like it was, um. <clears throat> adrenaline? Rage. It mm-hmm. was rage adrenaline. She was just finally had it. Uh-huh. And anything was possible. Nothing was going to stop her mm-hmm. from. Yeah, got, got him up bowl. there, mm-hmm. and then immediately called the ex. Yep. Went to her house. Yep. Her reaction to being told that she just, even though she didn't kill him, but just saying she just said she killed him. Yeah. Um, it was very interesting. It was an interesting reaction. I was sitting. There, I, I was, was not to that prepared and I was like, for that. I'm sorry, you're what? I was like, is this like, is this just a coping mechanism? Like, yeah, what is, what is going yeah, on? Basically yeah, what it was, was, it was a coping, a coping mechanism. mechanism. It's um, an interesting coping mechanism. Yes. Um, but, you know. Mako's reaction to that coping mechanism was very... He appreciated yeah, that he coping did. mechanism. To each their own, you know. And the fact that he pieced together already so well, that like he made him an excuse just to go over there. Yeah. Broke into their house, basically. Yeah. Ran into her, and then was like, "What's going on?" And she tried to be like, "Oh, nothing. Oh, I there's nothing. Uh, nothing. Nothing's happening." And he goes, "I know something's going on." And then she's like, "Well, what's going on is that I slept with Allison." <laughs> <laughs> and he was like, "He goes." He then he had this shock of like hearing that, and then he goes, "That's not it, though." <laughs> that's not it though <laughs> good try good try, good try. Good that try is it. not it though no there's more to it yeah what is she just like mm, i rhyme in the attic <laughs> he's tied up to the support beams <laughs> yeah in fact that he's like well with all she's been through it makes sense can't blame her <laughs> no yeah it's it's crazy it's a crazy story yeah you still have uh, a ways to go uh-huh. Well, he's already... I also... <clears throat> they're both up there now. They're putting together... <clears throat> they put together the story about what they're going to do. hmm And he's on the, you're not going to get away with this thing. Like, nobody's going <clears> to... <throat> nobody's going to think that I, like, killed myself. And they're like, mm, that's not what we're saying. It's going to happen. So, uh, and then... Uh, that's when <laughs> she's like... Well, I promised myself I'd shove something up his ass. Did she do it? <laughs> and he was like, not yet. <laughs> and he was like, oh, Nick was like, what? <laughs> yeah. And then she explained why. Yeah. And then he just saw red and just beat the shit out of him again. And that's kind of where we're at. Because we're at right now where he, like, where I'm at is where he's like, you're not going to get away with this. Like, they're still in the middle of that conversation. Like, I was pulling up to your house. I was listening to this. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Welcome back. Um, So. (laughs) Us from the future. (laughs) Hi. Hi. (laughs) Um, So, I'm trying to remember where we left off when we were talking. Oh, okay. She had him. She was saying in in the attic yeah she was saying that she was she was gonna shove something up his ass yes up his ass okay Mm -hmm. all right on the way home i heard the rest of it (laughs) i was like damn she really did (laughs) and the funny part is is that mego didn't even try to stop her he was he was like why would he try to stop yeah because Honestly, the more and more he found out, the angrier and angrier yeah, he got and the, about the it. The dude deserved everything that he got. Yeah, and then some. I mean, they like at, there was a, that point where he was like, um, when he said about his dad, 
mm-hmm. that I was like, oh, I kind of like that doesn't, dad. yeah. And also, I was like, oh, like poor you, but it does not excuse everything that you've done. No, um, and he didn't even feel bad about it. Either. How far have you gotten? What do you mean? In the book. I finished it. Oh, okay. So, yeah. they I could, finished it. I wanted to make sure I could say things. I didn't want to ruin it. Oh, no. I, I finished that thing. I finished that thing on, like, that night. I finished that Monday night. It's Friday. You're waiting until now to tell me? Yes, because I wanted to talk, I wanted to talk about it here. So, I've been holding it in. Oh I have God. not started another book because I really want to start, like, The Butcher and Blackbird. Blackbird. I have that because on I my... keep seeing things about it. Okay, so so here's the deal. I have that on my list, but I am currently let me let me pull up my Audible. I am currently listening to book uh, two. It's um, House of Sky and Breath. It's a Sarah J. Moss book. Um, House of Blood and Earth was book one, so I'm on book two because book three just came out. And I need to catch up on it. I have eight hours and 52 minutes left. Um, I'll finish it by the end of this weekend. <laughs> when I left, yeah, well, when I left yeah. Monday, I think yeah. I had like four and a half hours left on that book. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and I finished it that night. <laughs> it's gotten to the point that like when I have my headphones on and Logan starts talking to me, he gets mad. He's looked at me so many times and gone, do you ever not have headphones on? Like I'd actually like to spend time with you. And I look at him and go, they're off now. What do you want? <laughs> they're still on my head, but they're turned off. It's paused. What do you want? Yes. Talk. Um, yeah, I have Butcher and Blackbird saved. Um, we need to read The Ritual. Mm-hmm. And, God, I have so many others. I just but, keep seeing things about Butcher and Blackbird just because he's Irish, which makes me really want to listen to it more. <laughs> right. Yeah. Um, book three. Did book three come out? Yeah, book three came out. You're, you're going to recognize because it's been everywhere. That's book three. Do you recognize the, the cover? Oh, my God. It's no. been everywhere. Everyone's been like freaking out about it oh sorry it didn't come out yet it comes out in two weeks ah so yeah um i will finish that one by the end of the weekend Mm -hmm. and then i'm obviously gonna have two weeks before book three comes out where i'll be free to listen to other so back back to it okay so he was she the broomstick up his ass yep Cut his boy off and then um, let him bleed out. That's a big stretch. I feel like you have to say big stretch when a dog, when a dog does a big stretch. You do. Because mm-hmm. they deserve all of the love and praise the world has to offer. Yeah, when I stretch, nobody goes... Oh, what a, a big, big stretch. stretch. Yeah, I feel like you do that to kids. You yeah. know, like I would do that to my nephews and stuff. <laughs> Nobody does that to us. No. What the hell? Wait, wait, at what age I'm gonna start does it become unacceptable to look at somebody and go, oh, that was a big stretch. Probably the age where you can wipe your own ass. <laughs> I'm going to start oh. doing that in public when we're out somewhere. I need to make a stretch or something. I'm going to be like, oh, what a big stretch. She's a good girl. <laughs> <laughs> Except if you follow it up with that, I'll turn to you and go, careful, I like that. <laughs> <laughs> but what I thought was interesting is I was like, okay, well, so then I did, like, the whole timeline. Like, she was living with him well i guess she was there constantly i guess they weren't technically living together but they never said what happened to his house to whose house to ryan's house i think it got left to her and she got rid of it because like technically they weren't they weren't married they They were were engaged engaged. but it might but i guess legally that doesn't i mean unless the parents were like because i guess if it was technically left to the parents because it would be next of kin, it would be the parents. Yeah. If they were like, we're giving this to her because she was the fiance and she kept up the whole 
loving fiance facade. And she lived here. Like, it was her yeah. house. But she was, like, constantly at Mako's house. Yeah. And then eventually she moved in. Yeah. And at the same time that she said she wanted to move in was the same time that he proposed to her. Yeah. Yeah, it was, like, all within the same. Mm-hmm. And he actually got her the ring she wanted. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, but then they said that they didn't, like, say anything for, like, eight months. Well, yeah, because... And I pieced that together. Right I was like, after he died. I was like, I was like, that was, mm-hmm. that would be, like, a year. Yeah, because it was right after he died, and they were like, we gotta... Can you imagine, like, on, like, the anniversary of, like, your fiancé's death, you go to, like, his mother with his brother and go, we're dating now. <laughs> Actually, we're getting married. We're getting married. And, and she was reaction, happy about it. She was so excited. Oh, she's so like, Brian would be so happy. <laughs> that, and it was a she's like, you know. She's like, oh, yeah, he would. And Mako's like, no, he wouldn't. And she's, she's like... like just let, let it go. Let me go. She's like, yeah, no, he'd be furious. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, rolling in his grave. Yeah. Oh. You know, I told you it was their a good epilogue. Book. Their epilogue was pretty good. It was pretty good. I told you to trust me. I told you to trust the process. Their epilogue gave what I wanted their epilogue to give. Yeah. Like their actual life afterwards. Yeah. Haunting. Didn't. Lines didn't. It only gave like the proposal yeah and i wanted more than that i wanted like that's why i was like i wanted like family i wanted to see like maybe do they have family do they adopt that little girl hd carlton can we get a she already said she's not why she said it on tiktok somebody asked about it and she said no it was a duet and she was not planning on making a third not planning doesn't mean not going to i mean i guess that's true things can change Mm mm-hmm we would appreciate a third. This is interesting. Gotten poison, if I can say words correctly, gotten poison ivy from having sex outdoors. That would suck. I've never done it on the ground outside. Let me put it that really? way. Really? Yeah. Oh, I have. Uh, this is- didn't get poisoned. Not on the though. ground. I'm not saying I haven't done it outside, but I would. I I'm not getting on the ground. Are you kidding me? Why not? <laughs> You're no fun. <laughs> uh yeah no I didn't I didn't get poison ivy, from it. Thank God that would have sucked. Mm-hmm. Oh, can you imagine? No, I don't want to. Oh God. It sounds horrible. <laughs> It's so sensitive down there. What's the biggest turn off in bed? Ooh. You go first. Mine's not going to seem like it's socks. Don't wear don't wear socks. If you wear socks while you're having sex, you have problems. <laughs> I don't know why. It drives me crazy. Like literally you, you look stupid. <laughs> like, <laughs> I was expecting you to say something else given the conversations we've had about your Oh, I thought, I have more. I have more. Yeah, I've got more than just things. that, but. Um, <clears throat> being quiet and like stone-faced. Mm-hmm. That makes me feel like something's wrong. Even though nothing is wrong and you're just I'm trying not to drop things, you know. My other would be, it it has to do with, like, aftercare, okay? Like, which is, like, a big argument on the internet, I guess, aftercare. Explain. So, like, aftercare is the whole, like, when you're done, like, you, like, guys get, like, a towel or, like, cuddle and, you know, things like that. Because there are, you know, there's the guys that just, like, roll over in bed on their phone and, like, don't care afterwards and they're like no like aftercare is important it's just as important as like foreplay that like the whole cuddling thing afterwards or just like talking or like basically whatever like she needs afterwards instead of just rolling over and ignoring her after you got what you wanted 
I did. I always thought that that was a two way street. Like guys needed it too. Do they not? I guess to a point. Cause like, I don't think I've ever. Let me think. Hold on. Yeah, no, I've never slept with anybody. And I mean, this is saying something. I, I've never slept with anybody. And that occurred where they just like roll over and start scrolling on their phone or just like forget that I exist or. I have. Well. Can we classify him as a person? He wasn't a person. <laughs> He's not he anymore. He's an asshole. <laughs> ashes to ashes, dust to dust. I'm going to fucking hell. <laughs> I know. We're going to be roomies. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I I just, I've never experienced that. That really sucks. Yeah, I know. That people, somebody would do that. Like, it's an intimate mm-hmm. thing. It means something, regardless if it's um, just a hookup. Like, you still had this feeling for, towards this person. Like, it's kind of rude and disrespectful to just be like, mm, bye. You know? Yeah. Like, I often do the whole rollover thing, but I'm like, I'm tired. I'm going to sleep. Oh, <laughs> like, that's I don't what do I do. That. I like to cuddle or just like talk. Ryan likes or, to cuddle. Yeah, I like to cuddle, talk, watch a show. Whatever, just be, just exist. Nothing I... intelligent can come out of my mouth after that, so. <laughs> it's no... fair, it's fair. Well, even just listening. That's why he likes to say, like, because he'll, like, afterwards he'll ask me something and I'll, like, it'll be, like, unintelligible, whatever comes out of my mouth. And he's like, yeah. what, I fuck you stupid? And I'm like, yeah, yeah you do that you often. <laughs> yeah, and I, I just like to be, I, I like to, to be naked. And just, like, lay in bed naked with the blankets. I think it's really comfy. A lot of people, I'm sure, might find that strange. I don't know if it's a big thing or not. Like, do people enjoy laying in bed naked do like you, I do? Do you wear pajamas to bed? Not always. Not always. No, because, like, Brian Usually never does. No. I have been more, like, often. Okay. Which annoys him. Okay. Because yeah. when he was working away... I always wore, like, shorts or a sweatshirt because I was always freezing. So, like, I needed multiple layers. Mm-hmm. All right. Every time he was home, he was like, you're not wearing anything to bed. Well, I like, mean. Like, never, he, you're not wearing any, anything to bed. He also became your personal heater. Yes. And then Amelia became my personal heater. Yeah. <laughs> and I really didn't need to wear sweatshirts when he was gone. Um, but then he came home and he's home all the time. And he's got, like, the same mindset. And I'm like, no, I can't do that all the time. So I've been wearing sweatshirts, especially when I had to, like, get up in the middle of the night because she's crying or something. Mm -hmm. And I have to, like, find my way in the middle of the night to her room. And I'm like, I'm not going to be searching for clothing. In the dark. In the dark. Yeah. Yeah. So I just usually wear, like, a sweatshirt to bed. Okay. Yeah. I mean. And shorts. I will. And it's usually, like, just that. Literally, like, spandex shorts. And a sweatshirt. Oh, yeah. I'll, I'll wear, like, a t-shirt and sometimes I'll wear shorts, usually. That was a good one. That was a good one. It felt, um, I felt like it needed to happen. And obviously it did. It's always satisfying when you have that feeling and then you do it. Yeah. And you're like, oh. Um, <laughs> usually to. I'll wear, like, a t-shirt like this where it's, like, this is, like, super soft. You need to touch it because it's super soft. Uh-huh. Yeah, it's super soft. So I'll wear like a t-shirt like that or nothing. And I love to be that way. I love sleeping naked. And Logan isn't like that. Like he will uh, sleep in boxers and a t-shirt, mm. which, you know, fine. But I like to lay naked. He doesn't. He'll, like, get up and he'll start putting clothes on. I'm like, what are you doing? Come back. Yeah. You just lay here for a while. Yeah. I can, and like, lay I there enjoy. and, like, it's, like, one of those things, though. Like, if I see um, <laughs> Brian getting into bed with, like, uh, underwear on, I'm like, oh, so we're not doing anything tonight. <laughs> you <laughs> you aren't even have that mind. Yeah. 
But then there are nights where I'm like, put underwear on. And he's like, why? And I was like, because I don't need you trying to weasel your way into something tonight. And if you have underwear on, it's going to stop you. Because <laughs> it's one extra step to yes. just stop and take off his underwear. That's yes. funny. That's really funny. Yeah. No, I think that, that I think that that's super important. Doing things like that is really important. Mm-hmm. It, Like I said, it's a special intimate thing. If you're a decent human being, you you'll do something like that. You know, you'll you'll spend time with the person instead of just. All right, we fucked. You can go now. There's the door. That's rude. And that's you just using somebody. So, to all of the men out there that do that shit, go fuck yourself. <laughs> Grow up. Ninety eight percent of these are about sex. I can't wait. I mean, it's called Let's Get Deep. So let's get deep. Well, the first one said, did you ever have sex with someone whose name you didn't know? My count is literally two. So, no. (laughs) Yes. It's my ex and my husband. And that's it. (laughs) Is this college days? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, this is... Fuck. I don't even want to think about it. I was in a relationship ago. my entire college career. I was not. Because I went from I one relationship not. to the next. No, it's like high school into college. Like, I was... You know. You know. We went to high school together. There are some you pieces know. of me that, like, look back and I'm almost like, I wish I would have did the single girl thing for a little while. It was not, honestly, um, Logan and I got together, it was my second semester of college, so it was relatively quick into me being on my own, Mm -hmm. like, away from home, and we've been together ever since, so the single girl thing didn't really get to occur in terms of, like, I'm living on my own, getting to do my own thing, like, literally completely by myself. Mm Mm-hmm. Um, I have never lived by myself and I've, part of me has always kind of wondered how that would be. Yeah. I've, in a way I kind of have. Right. Because Brian was away all the time. Yeah. And even before that. Yeah. Yeah. He was away all the time too. And so I pretty much like my apartment. Yeah. It was was you. It was me and any traces of him being there was his part of the closet exactly and that was it yeah other than that it was like it was like it was my apartment right he paid half the bills right yeah but he was never there i i've never had that and part of me has always wondered what that would be like Mm -hmm. and kind of wanted that where it's just like my own space yeah to the point that like i've looked at him and gone i kind of feel like i need like a just me go away weekend where it's just me like when he was in vegas Mm -hmm. i was thriving you know, like, I, I really was. It was the first time him and I had been away from each other for that long in our entire relationship, and I was by myself. There was no one else. Other than, that, like, one week that he worked for. Yeah, but even then, I wasn't living by myself. No, you were with his parents, yeah. Exactly. So this was the first time that I was actually alone. By myself, and I kind of enjoyed myself. Mm-hmm. <laughs> love him to death, how, but I did. how I loved it so much. Yeah, I, I get I it. I loved being by myself. There was no judgment if Which I just I, like, wanted French I toast still really, it. yes. Like, I still really, I would love to do, like, a weekend thing and just, like, go somewhere. Yeah. Not have any, ne- not necessarily have any kind of agenda. Yeah. But just, like, That's what I told him. I somewhere. contemplated, um, not that long ago, I had started composing again and I was talking to him and he was writing an album uh like a year and a half ago last last summer he started doing it and um I looked at him and I was like you know I kind of feel like I need to just go like rent an Airbnb like in the in the Poconos or something just for the weekend just me in the woods I watch way too many murder documentaries (laughs) to honestly feel 100% confident in my abilities, but 
Uh, I feel like that's what I need to just go away for a weekend and just be by myself. Mm -hmm. No electronics. I will turn my phone off as soon as I get there after I send the text that I am safe. Yeah. And just get to do my thing. Mm -hmm. Meditate, drink tea, and compose. Yes. Um, This one I think is funny. I don't think we're going to do it, but it says, give me the talk as if you were giving it to your future child. (laughs) I don't even want to think about how that talk is going to go because that now the fact that we have a daughter means that I have to give this talk. I kind of want you to do that though. Well, I don't know how I would even. You can, that's going to be a, a long your thinking. practice daughter. That, that's why I said I think it's going to be so more scientific than anything. <laughs> and it's literally so going to be hard. like, be like, listen, we're, I'm literally just going to give you an anatomy lesson basically is what's going to happen. Well, you know what she's going to do. She's going to start giggling as soon as you say penis. Because <laughs> she's your daughter. Yeah. <laughs> she's going to be like, Mom's calling me to mom said penis. <laughs> as a 27-year-old woman who works in a diagnostic imaging facility, yeah. all right, I still giggle when there's an order for a ultrasound of a scrotum (laughs) i still want to know how that works like how frequently do you think you should be having sex every single day multiple times a day that would be brian's answers too (laughs) realistically i'd be like two to three times a week i don't have the kind of drive that the two of you have and Ryan said that last night, too, because he was like, he goes, I hate your up and down drive that you have, because he's like, literally like two weeks ago, he's like, you couldn't keep your hands off of me for like multiple days. And he goes, and now you don't want me to touch you. And I was like, it ha- I was like, it has to be hormone related. And I was like, like, it's definitely hormone related. It's because you go through multiple, yeah. what, four f- phases of your cycle? Yeah. So, I was like, that has to be why. Because he is literally a anytime, anyplace kind of guy. Um, yeah. Yeah, because this next one said, would you describe your sex drive as high, low, or average? Extreme. <laughs> Extreme. <laughs> yeah, that's you and him. Yeah. While, while I was pregnant, it was really low. It was low. Low. Interesting. Surprising, too, because, like, he was really excited because he was so prepared because he had heard so much about, like, when we were pregnant, like, really horny, and he was so excited for it because he's... Oh, through all these lines. He's always the one that he was, um... (laughs) He was just excited for me to get pregnant in general because, like, that kind of thing... It's going to make it sound weird. Turns him on. Like... I don't know why. Okay, no, I don't know. Hold on. So we had a conversation with somebody at work. Logan Uh and I did. Yes. Okay, we were at lunch with this person. Uh Uh-huh. You know of this person. I do. Mm -hmm. He was telling us about his wife and um, she had just had a baby and, you know, he was talking about the fact that he was telling Logan, like, you know, it, it was a big turn on. Like, when she's pregnant, like, parts of her that you really enjoy... And he was looking at me because I'm sitting right next to Logan. He's like, parts of her that you really enjoy are going to swell and proceeded to stare at my boobs and go, they look great today, by the way. And then proceeded to go, but they're going to get bigger when she gets pregnant. And I was like, Jesus. That's a fast way to get Brian to fuck someone up. If somebody commented (laughs) on on my chest in front of him. Well, I caught him staring. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because I was looking at him, yeah. and he was just, and then he looked up, and he stopped what he was saying, because he was still talking. Because made eye contact? He made eye contact, and he was like, they, they look great today, by the way. And I was like, oh, thanks. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's what Brian was really excited about. Yeah. Especially because they're already big enough. Well, yeah, you want and a reduction. Yes. Yeah. I cannot but, wait for um, that reduction. That, that's, that was the one thing that he said, was that, you know... Everything swells. Frankly, I don't think my ass can get any bigger. No, because but- it's a, it's a, I feel like it's a well-known thing, and this was all over TikTok too. It's Brian even brought it up that your ass shrinks while you're pregnant. It shrinks. It shrinks. 
Like, you all, all of a sudden, you lose your ass. And it's a thing, though, that I saw on TikTok where a lot of pregnant women said the same exact thing. You lose your ass, you gain your boobs. I don't think that's possible. And, and Brian was it's like... Physically possible. And Brian was like, you have. He's like, you, you have lost some of your ass from when you were pregnant. And I was like, I don't know. I had said it. I was like, I don't know what to tell you. But, like... I heard that that was a thing, that you lose lose your ass. The way that I'm built, right? My dad's side, the women on my dad's side of the family, carry their weight in their butt and their hips like I do, right? My grandmother my aunt is the same way. Like, we're pear-shaped. Mm-hmm. I got a big ass, <laughs> okay? And I, that's why I'm like, I don't think that it's... Because even when I exercise, when I lose weight, no matter what, I same. could be exactly I could be what I weigh now or I could weigh 40 pounds less and my ass is still the same it doesn't matter a thigh gap don't know her I have <laughs> never been able to have a thigh gap no matter how hard I've tried I could be 120 pounds and it still won't exist it's nuts that's just where my body's like mm, nope what is the kinkiest place you would want to have sex great Honestly? Yeah. And it's going to sound weird. Mm-hmm. Ferris wheel. A Ferris wheel? Uh-huh. Wow, that'd be really rocking. One? I'm terrified out. of heights. <laughs> it would have to be one that you're, like, enclosed. Yeah. Because you would, you know. You know why? You know why? Because on Dipsy, there's an audio About a of Ferris a couple wheel? who did it on a Ferris wheel. <laughs> Interesting. Wow. Uh-huh. I just think any public... I mean, public place. Setting, yeah. Which I, I've already place. been there, done that. I mean, yeah, but like, I mean, very public. Like, smash me up against the glass. I don't care. You ever <laughs> seen that video of the guy in the bar? There's a, it's a bar, all right? And there's a girl standing at the bar and obviously they're together. But he like literally like pulls her pants down and starts like fucking her at the bar. And like his ass is out, and like people are like, "What is happening?" And, like there are people who are just trying to like get away, but no one's stopping them. Like no one's stopping it from happening. I love that. <laughs> and there's just people you just see look on people's faces who are like, "Holy shit, this is happening!" I would buy them around after and clap. <laughs> it was just me in the background going, "Yeah, you get it." <laughs> Just like, I always wanted to like, I always wanted to walk into like a hotel and like hear people yeah. and then be the person to walk up to the wall and go, finish her. Yeah. <laughs> like it's Mortal Kombat. Yeah. Oh God, that's hysterical. Uh, who was your first celebrity crush? Yours was Orlando Bloom. Technically, it was Nick Carter. Who? Nick Carter. Backstreet Boys. Oh, Backstreet Boys. But no, I, that was more so like I was like still in a car seat. Like I was so little. Okay. Mm-hmm. He was like, you know, Orlando Bloom, 100% to this day. He is my man. I could go through a list of crushes from like a childhood like up. I'm going to admit something super embarrassing. Well, that's what we do here on the internet. We I literally them. sat in here yesterday after editing and cried because I saw a video of Orlando Bloom and went, I'll never, he'll never be my husband. He'll never he'll know never, you. He'll never know I exist. And I just <laughs> cried. Oh my God. I can start with, <laughs> and then I walked into like, I walked into the bedroom and I sat down on the bed and I just continued to listen to my book and I was just scrolling on my phone and Logan got my attention and I paused my book and he was like what and he was like why are you so sad? Did you tell him why or did you say it's a sad part? <laughs> I, I looked at him and I was like I'm not. <laughs> tried to forget about it i am now teary-eyed should i should i go through my list oh please do i need one, to I, I need to recoup the first here. one you're gonna agree with my first one ever 
Chris Evans? Well, well, let me put it this way. The first one ever that I could, like, actually remember... Shit, sorry. ...is uh, Zach Bagans. Okay. I get it. Yes. I get it. All right. All right. From there, now we got... Keep in mind, this was, like, a long time ago. (laughs) What the fuck? (laughs) This was a long time ago. I'm sorry. I'm crying. (laughs) There has to be something better to fan yourself with. Probably, but... We're here. Bam Margera. Yo, I, I get it. But like, I it's like it. young Bam Mar- like yeah, like Bam literally Margera. like Jackass one and two. Yeah, not Bam, Bam Margera. Not Bam now. Yeah, um, and then it was like Chris Evans, and it was like the rest of the Chris's. But I never really got that into the rest of the Chris's. I was never never really a Chris fan. Um, you found it again. <clears throat> Henry Cavill after Orlando Bloom, it's been Henry Cavill. I have a type. <laughs> and Sebastian Stan. I get it, yeah. Mm-hmm. I do, I get it. Yeah, I was so sad. Oh, Johnny Depp. Fucking love Johnny Depp. Younger. You know. He's a vibe. Yes. I can't believe I admitted that about myself. That's so depressing. <laughs> <laughs> it's so sad. You're happily married. I am You're happily, happily married. married. I am. Yeah, tomorrow's my wedding anniversary. Yes. <laughs> but... Orlando Bloom will never know that I exist. <laughs> <laughs> and it makes me so sad. <laughs> he knows. And meanwhile, Chris Evans married a 26-year-old. <sighs> Henry Cavill is dating a Natalie. Really? Yeah. Her name is Natalie. I hope she's just as much of a nerd as he is. Because that's what he deserves. They, yeah. Like, he deserves perfect. somebody like They're him. They're adorable together. They really are. Are they? I've never yeah. seen... Like, obviously, I didn't know. Yeah. So, like, I've never seen... Yeah, I'll, I'll show what you ...what she looks like. She's cute. Um, but, no, Logan knows. And, he, like, he looks at me and he's like, I really... I Like, I don't get it. He's such a pretty boy. Like, he's not a man. He's a pretty boy. And I was like... He, Orlando Bloom. Oh, okay. I was going to say, (laughs) are you kidding me? No. He can put you through a fucking wall. (laughs) (laughs) Gladly. Um, No. Or he's talking about Orlando Bloom and he's like, I don't get it. And I had to look at him and go, but you're not understanding. Like, when I, when this first occurred, Mm -hmm. I was, yeah, you know, like we're talking Lord of the Rings. He's 17 playing Legolas. I was a munchkin. (laughs) Munchkin, <laughs> you know, with the, like I, I was itty bitty, uh-huh. and then parts of the Caribbean. I'm still super young, like I don't know any better, but it doesn't matter. That, yeah, s- has stuck with me. Yeah, I gotta say though to that day. that final scene in the second one, I really wish they would have kept those two. Yeah, because I would have loved to see what happened after that. Yeah. Their story is just, I wish they would have continued their story from where it was. It would have been super interesting. Yeah. Okay. Let's see what this is. Hmm. What sexual position do you think is overrated? Which do you think is underrated? Ooh. I'm not great with names of things. I think reverse cowgirl is overrated. Yes. Let me to let me explain and I'm curious to see if you agree. Okay. I have tried reverse cowgirl multiple times. Every single time I hardly feel anything. And I don't understand it because it's still mm-hmm. going the same I think distance. It's, it's the visual. Mm. You know what I mean? It could be the visual. But I just don't feel anything. It's definitely the visual. Because even with the other, like, even with Twat Waffle. Yeah. It was a visual thing. Well, I often... But what I don't like, which, here's the thing. Here's the thing. There's more than one position you can see this from. But I feel like this is the most obvious position to see this from. I don't like that during that... You're pretty much just staring at your butthole. <laughs> like, <laughs> like I know I've seen it. I saw it on Instagram where somebody said that during doggy, I just, some girl was like, I just found out that during doggy, guys are staring at her buttholes. And a lot of girls in comments are like, no, 
And so then they started like asking and it was like a slideshow basically of girls in comments that were like, I just asked my boyfriend. He said, yes, that's what he does. Are you going to ask him? I'm going to call him. <laughs> he might not answer me, but I'm going to, I'm going to call him. I'm, I'm never even thought about that because I love that position. <laughs> Please answer. I have a question for you. Yeah. When we uh, do it doggy, are you just staring at my butthole? I'm on camera. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> he did not want to answer that. He's like, he could have just said no. He's like, nope, not answering this. Why? Are you serious? This is because my husband is so shameless that I can't. Well, I guess I'm gonna have to cut that out if he's not gonna play around. Rude. Um, I, I'm well. Okay, that's interesting. Yeah. I. But then it was also interesting how like a lot of the guys in the comment section were like, "Yeah, we do." But none of them were like, and it's weird. Like a lot of them were like, "Yeah, we do," and it's like they were like into it. Interesting. Yeah. I'm mad that he and I was like, well, now I don't like that. That was like, no, I don't like that. I know that. Like, I could have, you could have, I could have just never known that. Like, yeah, I've been fine with not knowing that. Yeah. Yeah. But that's the thing. That. That's the thing about reverse cowgirls. That's, that's exactly. Interesting. Yes. But I yeah. agree. <clears throat> I think it's overrated. Plus, also, I learned that apparently that is the, um, most like dangerous position the most injuries occur from that position i i could see it yeah i think that that's overrated i think it has to do with the angle but underrated i'm honestly not sure um i don't really know what positions are classified as underrated i feel like in a general consensus People would probably say, like, any missionary position. Uh, I think that's fair. Yeah. Because it's... but It's because it's what's done so often. Mm -hmm. I really need to know the answer. <laughs> and I just like, now I just need to know. Now this is just going to tear at you until you know. No. Okay. So I was talking to Geralt. Uh, general consensus was, well, you didn't let well, me know you. at first that I was on camera, so <laughs> that's why I hung up. Rude. Second of all, he said, uh, "How how would I see it through your ass, like through your ass cheeks? I got a big ass," and he was like, "I can't unless I spread them. I can't see it." He doesn't do that? Uh-uh. No, he, he pushes my back down and then grabs my hair and pulls me back. I mean, like, he doesn't. Brian will do that too, but yeah. he'll also, like, just to, like, get deeper. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. He doesn't, he doesn't need to because of the way that I... This is getting very... My stomach is still growling. This is getting very TMI. <laughs> the, the way that I... You know. <laughs> I'm trying to explain without explaining and this just looks weird. <laughs> you ever see those I don't know why I was thinking about those. You ever see those um I see the joke about the uh or should I say it's a joke, but it's probably like realistic videos where like someone's like stuck in something. Or a girl's like stuck under something in something, some stuck somewhere. Okay. Alright? Mm-hmm. And, like, a guy is, like, helping her get out of it, but really he's just, like, fucking her. I, yes. <laughs> yes, okay. Yeah. Uh-huh. I've seen that. 
You talking smack? <laughs> yeah? I love you. No, no, no. Yeah. You want belly baths? No. Oh, here's a nice innocent one to end on. Oh. Dinner date or movie date? Dinner date. <laughs> you sneezed. You sneezed on my hand. Dinner date. I like dinner dates. I think that they're cute. Yeah. You can't really, like, talk or spend... I feel like you don't spend time with each other. If it's movie, movie, yeah. I've heard that some people... I've heard, this was a TikTok thing, um, some people said that they don't, they won't do, um, like, movie dates with people. Like, if there's, if they're going to be going on a date with somebody, and the person's like, we're, I'm planning this date, we're going to the movies, girls would be like, cancel. No. Because, obviously, he wants to go to the movies, he doesn't really want to talk to you. Mm. Like, kind of thing. I've gone on and a then couple. I thought about it, and I went, my first date with, uh, Twat was to the movies. <laughs> was it? Yeah. I've we gone on four. a, I've gone on a couple, uh, movie dates, but usually, um, I remember one movie date in particular, didn't even watch the movie, didn't even go into the movie theater, stayed in the car the whole time, um, and just talked. And spend time with each other. Logan and I went and saw The Hobbit, which is a three-hour movie, on our first date. And then um, after that, he took me to dinner, and then we went ice skating. It was my first time ice skating. I fell flat on my face. And then proceeded to make him push me around because I refused to get one of the walkers <laughs> like a grandma. <laughs> um, for, I don't know why this just reminded me of this. Something about a car. Um, homecoming, mm-hmm. se- my senior year, mm-hmm. right? Because I was in marching band, we weren't allowed to go to homecoming because we always had a... Um, parade mm-hmm. that night. Mm-hmm. So you weren't allowed to go to homecoming. You had to go to your parade. Only the seniors were allowed to skip the parade. Mm-hmm. So we didn't get to go to homecoming until our senior year. Mm-hmm. All right. So homecoming. Mm-hmm. We go. Mm-hmm. We are literally there for all of less than an hour. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, I'm bored of this. Like we have been to snowball a few times. Yeah. Like, we went together, snowball. snowball. Yeah. Like, we went together to snowball my junior year, and obviously we went my senior year. Yeah. But first time ever going to homecoming, and we were there for, like, literally an hour, maybe. And I was like, I'm kind of bored. We left. We, because I had a car. Yeah. At this point. We left. We went to Weiss. Okay. We got ice cream. Uh huh. And then we just sat in the back seat of my car and we just talked and ate ice cream. I mean, yeah, that sounds great. Yeah. That sounds way better. And that is how I spent my homecoming in my homecoming dress. And he was in his like nice, because you know, they don't really wear suits to homecoming. They would just like kind of yeah. dress up. Yeah. In the back seat of my car, eating ice cream and just talking. Okay. That sounds like fun. Yep. It sounds like a lot of fun. I would have enjoyed that. I'm sorry, baby. <laughs> He's like, oh. I'm sorry. Scared him. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh. His ears. Yeah, he's my little cuddle bug. He's like, you're my baby boy, aren't you? Yeah. Do you want to end it on a nice one, or do you want to end it on one from my side? Good God. It's your choice. Is it really that good? I mean, I saved it. Okay. Out of sheer curiosity. All right. 
Would you ever record yourself masturbating to send to your partner? I don't think I've ever recorded it. Okay. FaceTime. I've done both. Because I don't both. think I've ever recorded it, though. I have. Thanks, Snapchat. It could be. <laughs> mm, Snapchat's a different story. Snapchat's Snapchat different. Um, You're still recording Because it. it literally would have been either one of them. Because they both had far at one point. Yeah. Were far away. During a ship. Yeah. So... I guess, yes, in a way. Yeah. It's got deep. Yeah. Deeper. <laughs> got real deep. What do you say, Gear Bear? It was an interesting episode to be your first episode. Huh? He wants to know what you got. She doesn't have anything for you. You're giving me some eyes right now, though, man. He's like, yeah. It's because I'm so adorable. Oh, do you know there's ice cubes in there? He does. Do you know what that tingly tingly sound is? He does. He actually got one when I put ice in there for you. <laughs> yes, you did. He's like, I know what's in there. You did. Sorry, buddy. Is there anything else you want to talk about? Um, nope, because this is probably already long as shit. Um, I'm going to have fun editing this. That's yes, because sure. you also have to put the other thing into this. So, so shit. Yeah. yeah. Well, I got to edit that, too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, um, thank you for joining us for episode seven of Hiding From Her Husband. You can find us. Did you know that your voice changes when you go to do the outro? Um, it's called my customer service voice, and my yeah, husband well, hates it. it. Stop it. Brian I noticed it. hates it so much. Yeah, I noticed it while editing. And I'm finally now starting to pick up on it in real time. That I have customer service voice? Yes. Don't, don't do that. I use it. We don't do that a here. A lot. We don't do that here. Thanks for coming. Thanks for listening. Do the things. Yes. <laughs> uh, I have to say the things, but I have to remember to say the things. Listen on... Listen and watch YouTube, Spotify... At Hiding From Our Husbands. Find us on TikTok and Instagram at Hiding From Our Husbands. You can find our personal TikTok. Mine at Megnog97. I don't know if you remember yours. Nope. Go blow up our Instagram. All of our links are... Everything's linked in the description box below. Yep. Find additional little extras on our TikTok along with sneak peeks of upcoming episodes yep post them to instagram too Mm -hmm. uh yeah like comment subscribe for sure comment down below if there's anything that you guys want us to talk about get our reaction to book talk please we've been asking for weeks we need suggestions give me suggestions please please How many times do I have to say please <laughs> before you guys will give us suggestions? We- please. <laughs> please. Please. We need suggestions. We need suggestions. I'm starting to run out of a list on Audible and it's making me sad. I need to keep adding to it so that it's a constant. Okay, now we're going to this. Now we're going to this. And give us suggestions on the books that you want us to talk about specifically too. Because mm-hmm. we do that here. Because why not? You want to say bye, Gare Bear? That was a big stretch. Come here. You want to say bye? You want to say bye-bye? Say bye-bye. Look. 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 A squirrel. Okay. <laughs> it's like, Mom. Say bye. Yeah, give her paw. Paw? I wanted it to look like you were waiting. <laughs> Does he have a bow tie? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he does. Because he's a distinguished gentleman. <laughs> look at this distinguished <laughs> gentleman. <laughs> you can see it. <laughs> My... 
You're so funny. You're my sweet little boy. Yes, you are. You have a heck of a personality, buddy. Can you say goodbye? Say, uh huh. Say, uh huh. I love you. Got the eyes. I know. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. All right. Okay. All right. Guess that well, counts. That, All right. Bye. Bye. <laughs>